Thanks, ladies, for those great book reviews. Now we are in the kitchen with my favorite bartender, Joe DiMaggio from the Stray Dog Bar and Grill. Thanks so much for coming back. Jamie, I love it. Well, I thought that we would sort of get ready for spring and summer. Yes. And talk about Please. some really, really delicious, refreshing cocktails. The first thing I'm going to show you is uh, a little twist on a margarita, which is one of my favorite ways to make it. Okay. Uh, margaritas typically are made with tequila, with a little bit of orange liqueur. I'm going to use some Cointreau. Mm -hmm. But we're going to flavor it up, and we're going to make a pomegranate margarita. Mm. So we're going to use some white tequila, which is Sousa Blanco. Okay. It's a really nice, white tequilas are usually a little more smooth than the gold tequilas. Is that a high shelf tequila It's really there? not. It's really, it's moderately priced, and it's really, really smooth and has a really nice flavor. We're going to use this, which Ooh, is called Pama. that's a cool bottle. Pama, pomegranate liqueur. Isn't that a great bottle? Mm -hmm. It is liqueur made from pomegranates. And we're going to use a little bit of this, about an ounce of it, for pomegranate flavoring. And then, of course, our Cointreau, which is going to give us our little orange flavoring. Okay. A little bit of that in there. And then a little sweet and That looks like those mix. bubbles, like you're going to just pull out it and does blow. It does kind of look, look like kind bubbles, of like yeah. It's a little sweet and sour Which would mix. even be fun for this time of year. That would be fun. We're going to shake that up. Remember, anytime we make a cocktail with more than two or three ingredients, we're going to shake it up. And then I prepared a pomegranate infused sugar and salt recipe. you want me to hold recipe. it? Yeah, that'd be Let great. Let me help make we're the drink. We're going to put that right on the edge of this glass. So you've got a little sweetness, mm. a little salt for the margarita, and some more pomegranate flavor in that. And so that can't be found in stores. It can only be found at the Stray Dog, the straight dog which means you have to go there. I'm going to garnish this. that with an orange for the flavoring, a lemon, and a lime. Oh, okay. Because it's that fancy and special. With a straw. With a straw. Give that a sip. But then you want to sip on the outside I want to of the glass. Yeah, I want to sip so on the outside. The, the sugar and salt. I'm going to make a mojito, which is a traditional um, Latin-based cocktail. We have some fresh mint leaves, which I'm going to put in our... We were eating those earlier, straight, we were just like we were chewing gum. And then I brought along one of my favorite ingredients. I find I bring this a lot. is simple syrup, and this is basically sugar water that's been boiled, and then it, it settles, and then it gets a little bit thick. So a little bit of simple syrup sugar water. And what is this contraption? This is called a muddler. It kind of looks like a little mini baseball bat. It is to muddle up oh, ingredients. Get the, get the taste get, out of the mint yep, leaves. break up the mint and it's going to release mm. all that great mint oil and flavor into that. And then we're going to take a little bit of ice in there. A little bit of Bacardi silver rum. It's a rum based drink. Like so. And then just a little bit of splash of soda water. I brought along my favorite Pellegrino which is lightly sparkling water. Club soda works the same way. And just because there's mint in there and I want to get it extra mixed up, I'm going to give that, pour that into our glass and garnish with a couple of sprigs of fresh mint okay, more of that. right on top. And it's a very, very refreshing, I'm ready to try. crisp, delicious cocktail. It is very good. Uh, the next drink I'm going to make for you is, a, a, again, a twist on one of an old favorite cocktail, the Long Island Iced Tea. Okay. Which the Long Island Iced Tea comes from the teetotaler days when the women would drink just tea or iced tea, and some mixologists decided to kick it up a notch and trick them a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a raspberry Long Island Iced Tea, so I'm going to use Stoli Raspberry, which is raspberry-infused vodka, a little bit of vodka, a little bit of Bombay Sapphire distilled gin. It's the good stuff. I can Just a tell. splash of gin. Anything that's in a cool bottle is usually Absolutely. the good stuff. Absolutely. A little bit of light rum. Now this is very boozy. Very this boozy. Got, oh, this, yeah. A little more tequila. You need to be very responsible. Very responsible. This is not a cocktail you want to have if you're even going to be near an automobile. And again, a little bit of our Cointreau, the orange flavored liqueur. And then we're going to top it off with a bit of sour mix sweet and sour and then with all those ingredients in there we're going to shake them up there's not even any tea in there <laughs> no tea whatsoever no tea. but i'll show you how we get that classic long island iced tea look pour that back into the glass and then we top with our american favorite classic coca-cola just a little bit on top that's just for the look so it looks like you're Garnish getting with the lemon a raspberry long island iced mm. tea 
That is one of the top, most five popular drinks ordered in the United States. Really? Yeah. Delicious? Uh, yes, very good. Taste very the raspberry good. coming through? Yeah, I do, and I think I like that part of it. Yeah, it's nice. Getting ready to open up on the rooftop in June, but we are. still opened inside. Open inside seven days a week. We have live music every weekend, and then once the rooftop deck is open, we have live music five nights a week, so it's a lot of fun. TheStrayDog.com. Okay. Website. Or you can go to our website at WNIT.org. We will link to theirs. So we are going.